Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem ten in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there we can consider we have a capacitor, right? The capacitance is given thirty five F Faraday, and then we can convert the unit to international system unit. And it tell us the potential difference is one point five volts when it's full charged. Now ask you how many exist electrons on this uh, uh capacitors. So you can see how many electrons. That means ask you to find the charge for this capacitor, right? So if we want to find the charge, we know the capacitance and we know electric potential difference. It's so easy. We just use the definition function: capacitance equals the charge divided by the potential difference. Right? Now this charge is comes from the n, the number of n electrons. So we can see this is n, and for one electrons, it carry one unit fundamental charge E. Right? Yes. So. Now we can write the function for n. For n is use the total charge for capacitor divided by the electrons charge. This give us the number of electrons, and the total charge can write as the capacitance times the electric potential difference v. Then we can input the given quantities get answer there. The next one tell us this capacitors. Will decay with time, and it de decays at a constant rate, zero point three F coulomb per second. So we write it there, the constant rate, right? It decay rate, and it also tell us, um, after a period, after a duration, the capacitor will decrease by one percent from its fully charged value. Ask you how long it will take. So ask you the time take for the capacitors decrease the charges decrease by one percent, right? So that means the total charge changes is just one percent of the Q. So we write delta Q as zero point zero one Q. This come from there, right? Yes, and then unify the time taking. It looks like. If you want to know the time taking, we can use the total charge decreased. That is one percent of of full charge value divided by the constant rate, right? Now, how can we input the delta Q as zero point zero one Q divided by constant rate? How do you find the full charge value? It's easy, right? The full charge value is just the capacitance. Times the electric potential difference v, so we can write the function delta T as in the there, right? And input all the given quantities, we get the final answer there. Thank you.